This FSI hedging software instructional video is brought to you by FS Innovators, financial innovation that links theory with practice. Visit us at fs-innovators.com. The FSI hedging software database is comprised of three sections, cash commodities, futures contracts, and exchange rates. Select futures contracts to begin. Select Edit to view the data management window. The Information tab allows you to change product name, ticker symbol, category, currency, exchange, quantity, unit of measure, maturity, and contract size. The Prices tab allows you to generate graphs based on imported data. Right-clicking the graph allows you to zoom on graph, save as an image, or export the data to an Excel file. Here we choose to zoom on graph. This is a futures contract price graph for LME nickel, US dollars per ton. You can see that moving the cursor on the graph shows the date and the value. Selecting a graph section zooms in further. The Missing Value Approximation Prices tab allows you to choose between two approximation methods. Select between Linear Approximation and Polynomial Approximation. Specify Date Parameters and Generate a Graph. The Price Change tab allows you to track price changes based on frequency of data used and currency. The Volumes tab allows you to track volumes of the imported data. Don't forget that you can right-click every graph for more options. And the Additional Information tab allows you to save notes on this product. Select the Graph button to continue. We have the option to open an existing graph, create a new graph, or modify an existing graph. In this case we choose to create a new graph. Choose one cash product and one or multiple futures contracts. Select a reference item. In this case we choose three futures contracts. Name the graph and press Apply. Now select the date parameters, frequency of data to be used, currency, unit of measure, type of data, and computation type. Click Calculate to generate the graph. You can see that the graph has been calculated with respect to all of the previously specified information. Select Basis and Spreads to continue. Here we open an existing list with one cash product and one futures contract. Fill in the specified data and select how many days you'd like to use for your basis calculation. On the left hand side you can see the calculated basis and the criteria that you specified above. Changing the criteria starts a new tab and a new calculation. Here you can see that we have right clicked the graph and chosen to zoom on graph. Simply click and drag to zoom in further. The small button on the top left allows you to zoom out the y-axis and the bottom left chooses to zoom out the x-axis. To calculate correlations among selected products, click the Correlations button in the main menu. We have chosen to open an existing list. Select the list. Input date parameters, frequency, currency, type of data, computation type and select calculate. Here's the correlation table for this product list. However now I would like to identify the significant values. Check the box next to highlight significant values and select the level of significance between 50 and 99.9%. Select calculate. You can see that all values that are significant on the desired level have been highlighted in red. 
Select the Hedging button in the top menu to calculate hedge ratio and hedging effectiveness for your cash position. We open an existing list. Select the list. Input date parameters, frequency, currency, type of data, and data computation method. Now we have the option to select between single product hedge and multi product hedge. We begin with single product hedge. Select calculate. The single product hedge uses each futures contract to hedge your cash product position and separates each calculation into its own hedging strategy. Select the column headings to order your outcomes by hedging effectiveness or hedge ratio. You can also select view next to the product above to see real historical prices and rebuilt historical prices. We've clicked the rolling hedge button next to strategy 3 to see a graphical representation of the hedge ratio and hedging effectiveness for your cash position. Changing the computation sample size or frequency of computation and selecting view generates a new output. Moving your cursor onto the hedge ratio graph shows the date and hedge ratio for each data point. Moving your cursor onto the hedging effectiveness graph shows the date and each hedging effectiveness. Right-clicking each graph shows the three options mentioned earlier. The multi-product hedge option allows you to use several futures contracts to hedge your cash position. Select multi-product hedge, specify the maximum amount of futures contracts that you would like to use, and select calculate. The FSI hedging software factors all possible hedging strategies that can be created for your cash product with the futures contracts that you have selected. Select the hedging effectiveness column headings to order your strategies by hedging effectiveness and to identify the corresponding hedge ratios. After identifying the optimal hedge ratios for each strategy, select the number of contracts button in the top bar menu to find out exactly how many futures contracts of each product are needed to hedge your cash product position. Select the futures contract from the list. Futures contract size is already specified. Select the cash commodity that you would like to hedge. The amount of the cash commodity that you would like to hedge. Unit of measure. And input the calculated hedge ratio. For this example, to cover your spot position, you need to use two futures contracts of aluminum alloy LME. To further test our hedging strategies, we choose the backtesting button in the top bar menu and select Hedge Simulation. We begin by selecting a cash commodity, cash position, here we choose to sell, size to be hedged, unit of measure, currency, transaction date, and type of data. We now select the futures contract to hedge our cash position. Select the time period before the transaction date to view as a graph. Select Next to continue. The graph above shows cash and futures historical prices with the vertical line on the right representing the transaction date. The statistic summary table on the right shows the variance of the unhedged position, the hedged position, and hedging effectiveness. The table below currently shows the outcomes of an unhedged position. Right click on the futures price graph to add a trade at your desired location. We begin with a hedging ratio of 1 and the exact amount of futures contracts necessary to hedge your cash position. Select Add. The red line shows our realized selling price if we were to have initiated the trade on February 13, 2008. You can see the standard deviation of the unhedged portfolio is much greater than that of the hedged portfolio, and the hedging effectiveness of this transaction is exceptional at 0.97. The table below shows that by participating in the futures market we were able to realize a price per unit of 2,816.5 US dollars versus the unhedged cash market transaction price of 1507.75. An exceptional hedge. We see that at the date of maturity, the actual transaction takes place on the spot market, while a corresponding transaction takes place on the futures market, thus closing the futures contract position. Now select back testing and trade simulation. The trade simulation window is similar to that of hedge simulation. 
However, this option allows you to control variables that are independent of your cash market position. FS Innovators Visit us at fs-innovators.com for selected product support or send your questions to info at fs-innovators.com.